Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to design this optical illusion circle in Illustrator. Okay, first thing, let's make sure that we're on the field. So I'm going to click on the field and select the color. I'm going to go with black, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill again so it's on the top. Let's select the rectangle tool and just draw a line like so. And from here, we're going to, you know, select it and go to effects, distort and transform, transform. And we're gonna select this little dot here. You can see the, all these squares going on and we need this, you know, to be the square here. Usually it's in the center and I want it to be down here, okay? I'm gonna create some copies and... I don't know, 45, 70, something like that. And I'm just gonna press minus 4. Okay, so horizontal, vertical, let me check this. I'm gonna go with horizontal expand it a little and you know you also can like put even more lines to be more dense I'm gonna increase the horizontal like this and I'm gonna decrease the angle and I'm gonna add some more copies there you go it's 89 uh, minus 4 degrees and horizontal 14 now it really depends like how big is your uh, dimension of, of the line and then click OK. And now it's a little bit thin, I can see that, so I'm gonna press and hold Alt and expand this a little to be more wide, and as you can see, all the lines are gonna expand to be more wide, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go to the object, expand appearance, and now we got all the lines. And we're gonna add some gradients, but first I'm gonna add a nice black background. I'm gonna select the rectangle, do like this. Right click, arrange, send to back. I gotta go to the layers and you know, lock this layer. And I gotta select this again. Go to the gradient and click. So I'm gonna press the letter G and I'm just gonna press and hold shift and from here I'm gonna drag it from left to right. So now it's arranged properly. I'm gonna recolor these. This is gonna be a blue. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag this little circle. Now we created a new color. Double click, select the color. Double click on this, select the color. I'm gonna press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F or you can go to the edit and paste in front. This way we're gonna paste another copy on front. From here, press and hold Alt plus Shift. Scale it down until they intersect. Press and hold Alt, rotate it until the yellow part is gonna be here and the blue part is gonna be, you know, in totally the opposite. Select both, Control C, Control F, scale down, and we got a beautiful iris, colorful, abstract iris made out of lines. So yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.